Welcome to my channel, Purposeful Play, where I talk about all things early childhood education. I'm Danielle, and I am a 4K teacher in Wisconsin. And today I wanted to share with you how I have simplified my slides on Seesaw. I used to use um, Google Slides and created my slides on Google and then uploaded them to Seesaw, but I've simplified it for myself and I think I've made it easier for the kids to look at and navigate and I want to share with you in case you want to make it easier as well. I will still link below what I used to do for my Google Slides or my Seesaw Slides, um, but then I'll also share a little tutorial with you right now on how I'm doing things differently. So let's get started. already gone ahead and click on the add activity button and then um, I want to just show you I already to save time I already added the activity name the student instructions and the voice instructions which I always add for the kids just so then they can click on the instructions themselves and um, they don't need an adult to read them the instructions next I'm going to add multimedia instruction I'm gonna click on drawing and this is going to be the slide. So they're not moving away from Seesaw to find their choice board. Their choice board, this is their choice board. So I'm gonna create a new text box. And in order to save time, I'm just gonna quick go to my, um, my lesson plans. I'm going to copy one of, the less, one of the activities and I'm gonna paste it right in here. And then I'm gonna resize this because I'm gonna have several activities um, on this day, lots of choices this day. So I'm gonna just resize it. And then I do like to change the color on these. So I click on these three dots here. For, and then the style, I use this one here with the um, background. And let's make it, let's make it pink. And now I might wanna provide a couple of picture ideas for kids to see what I mean for that. So then I just, I might Google, um, what did I Google? Recycled materials craft insect. So I'm gonna find an image I like. I'm just gonna copy that image. I'm gonna go back to Seesaw and I'm going to paste it. And then um, usually if I have, if I have examples or things that, you know, that they might wanna look at for inspiration, I'll put a couple here that are right beside that activity. All right. That's activity number one. The next one, I go back to the text box, create a new one, and then I don't want it the same color as the other one, so I'm going to click on the, oh no, I don't have to click on the three dots, sorry. I just have to go over to the right where the colors are and I just pick a new color. So there it is. And then um, this one here, what should I make this one? This one's gonna be a mindful moment with Miss Danielle. So I'm gonna copy that, go back to Seesaw, paste, and again, resize it. Now this one has a video, a link that goes with it. So if you have a link, you're gonna go down to the three dots on the bottom, you click on link, and then this is where you paste the, um, the link. Um, mine is in my drive, so I'm gonna go to my drive. I right click, this is the video here. I'm gonna right click, and then I'm going to get a link. And when you get the link, you wanna just make sure that right here it says anyone with the link. You can click on this little arrow thing to change that, but I've already changed that. So I'm gonna copy the link, gonna head back to Seesaw, and I'm gonna paste it right in here. And now there was a link attached to this box. Now, some families don't notice this little link picture there. So I always add a, another little text box, click for link so that they know that there is a link there. Now we've done this so many times that families already know that there will be a link when they see mindful moment or movement activity. But you know what, just in case they don't, they see it right there, click for a link. I'm gonna show you one more thing you can do. I'm gonna add another text box. Again, I'm going to the left, adding a text box. Um, I am going to, let's make it a different color, purple. And this one is going to be play a game of war, the card game war. Um, resize it a little bit. Um, I am going to, you can either add 
again, the link right to this text box, but I'm gonna just add a little picture. So I'm gonna do just what I did with that insect there. I, um, I just Googled card game war images, and then I'm gonna copy this image. I'm gonna go back to my seesaw. I'm going to paste my image and then I'll just resize it and just put it right beside here. And then they kind of know, oh, this is gonna be a card game. So I'm gonna attach my link to the picture. You can attach it to the picture, the text box, or both, I guess. So I'm gonna click on link and then I already pulled up the card game um, video here. You wanna make sure that when you share links with your kids, you are copying the YouTube link or whatever, um, I guess it would always be YouTube. Um, and then I go to viewpure.com. You paste the link in here. I'll put the um, viewpure.com, um, that website down in the, in the description box. You purify it. And then what you get is the video you want the kids to see. It is the only video that they can click on when they have that link. There are no advertisements. There are no um, suggested videos. It is just this video. So I'm gonna copy that link, go back to Seesaw, paste it in there, and then now there's a link. Did I do it? I did not do it. Gotta go. Gotta click the green check. I forgot. So now there's gonna be a link attached to this. And again, I We'll put a little box here that says, click for a link to remind families. So I'm just gonna duplicate the one that's over here. So you click on it, three dots and duplicate. And then I'm gonna just move that little click for link over here. And I always match my little square, my link click, click for link boxes to the text box. So they know that this link belongs to this activity. So let's just say we're gonna be done for now. You can change the colors of these, the style, you can resize them for whatever you want. And then I click the green check and my activity is done. Let's save this activity. And here's what it looks like for the kids. So when they go in, they just click on their slide and everything is right here. The links are here, um, pictures are here. It's all here. Now, if I want to make um, activities for every day, or maybe you do them once a week, you want to share slides once a week, once a day. So let's say I want to do another slide for the next day. I'm just going to copy and edit the activity. The instructions are already there. The activity names are already there. Let's just say I'm going to put it on December 2nd. And all I need to do now is go into my example and I just need to change this up. So let's say I'm not gonna do a litter bug on this day. We're gonna just play with Play-Doh. I don't know if we would ever just put that in there, but that's our activity, that's it. And then this one, oh, let's just say it's a dance along and I'm gonna leave it like that. And then of course I would have to change the link for this one if I was doing a different dance along, okay? I'm not gonna do that for you right now. And then the last thing here, you would just change this up. And then when you're done, you click the green air um, check and there's your second day of activities. And then you save that. So then you have another day's activities. You can keep copying and editing again and again. And the instructions are there, the voice instructions, it's all there. Seriously, how simple is this? And kids can see there's one, two, three activities here. They're very easy to look at. They're very easy to navigate. It is super easy for the kids and super easy for you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I hope that I've shared with you a little bit of an easier way to provide some choices for your students on Seesaw. I know for me, it's been, um, a big change and really helpful in cutting down my time and families have shared with me that just visually um, it's better for the kids and easier for them to navigate instead of clicking back and forth between Google and Seesaw it's all right there right on Seesaw so um, give it a try and let me know how it works for you or maybe you have other ideas that you think um, are easier and simpler so share in the comments down below what you're doing and how you're making it easy, how you're saving yourself some time and energy, and I will see you next time. Have a happy day.